What you're seeing now is the Marsh and South Pole ice cap. Beneath this layer of ice lies a massive lake of liquid water. It spans about 20 kilometers in diameter. On July 25, 2018, NASA published an article titled, Large Underground Lake of Liquid Water Discovered Deep Beneath the Surface of Mars. It provided further evidence that liquid water once existed on Mars, and the findings were published in the prestigious journal Science. Scientists believe that around three to four billion years ago, the surface of Mars held large amounts of liquid water. This water shaped Mars terrain, leaving behind traces that remain clearly visible today. So, how was liquid water on Mars discovered, and how did Mars transform from an ocean world into the cold, barren desert it is today? Today, let's talk about what exactly happened on Mars that caused it to become what it is now. Since the beginning of space exploration, Mars has been a prime target for scientists. The goal of exploring Mars is clear. To determine whether liquid water once existed there and whether life ever emerged. Since 1960, humans have launched 50 missions to Mars to confirm the presence of ancient liquid water. Scientists have studied the planet's terrain, rocks, and minerals in detail. They've proven that not only did Mars once have abundant liquid water, but even today, liquid water activity still exists on Mars. In 2015, NASA confirmed evidence of liquid water flowing on modern-day Mars. It was a surprise to discover liquid water on a planet 100 times drier than Earth's deserts. If ancient Martian water gave rise to life, we might one day find fossils on Mars, or at least evidence of microbial existence. That's why the Curiosity and Perseverance rovers are tirelessly searching for new clues. If they truly find something, it would confirm that, as long as liquid water and relatively mild conditions are present, life has the potential to emerge, and that would also mean Life might be widespread throughout the Milky Way, perhaps even across the universe. But if Mars had liquid water and still didn't develop life, it would suggest that a crucial ingredient is missing to uncover what Mars was like in the past. Scientists deployed the Curiosity rover to explore Gale Crater by examining the remains of ancient Martian oases we can more accurately understand the planet's history. Was Mars once a blue planet, or has it always been a barren desert? Did life ever appear on Mars at all? The answers to these questions lie with the data sent back by these rovers, ultimately, through data returned by Curiosity, Chirong, and other missions. We now know that Mars not only once had liquid water, it may have once been a beautiful blue planet, just like Earth is today. In fact, there is abundant evidence of liquid water on Mars. First, the geological evidence. Mars' surface contains many dried up riverbeds, alluvial plains, and lake sediment deposits. These features closely resemble water eroded landforms on Earth. Their existence suggests that large quantities of liquid water once flowed on Mars, sculpting its present-day terrain. Second, the mineralogical evidence also supports the presence of ancient water. The curiosity over discovered hematite, sulfates, and carbonates, minerals that require water-based chemical reactions to form. It also found smooth, rounded rocks on the Martian surface, rocks that had clearly been worn down by flowing water. Meanwhile, China's Zhirong rover discovered coastal sedimentary structures 10 to 35 meters beneath the Martian surface. These structures further confirm the presence of past water, possibly even oceans. So if Mars 
Aunts had so much liquid water. Why did it all disappear? To find out, scientists conducted in-depth research into Mars climate, geology, and atmosphere. They proposed a theory about how liquid water vanished over time. They believe that, around four billion years ago, Mars had a thick atmosphere and a warm climate, similar to Earth today. Rivers, lakes, and seas existed under these mild conditions, and liquid water was stable on the surface. But, by around 3.5 billion years ago, Mars' core began to cool. Volcanic activity weakened, disrupting the carbon cycle. As Mars' magnetic field weakened, solar wind started stripping away the atmosphere, blasting it into space. Carbon dioxide became trapped in carbonate minerals, causing the climate to cool. Liquid water could no longer remain stable on the surface. After hundreds of millions of years, Mars' atmosphere had thinned drastically to only about 1% the density of Earth's atmosphere. This led to a cold and dry climate. Liquid water gradually disappeared from the surface, retreating underground or to the polar regions. This real image of Mars' atmosphere, taken by an orbiter, shows just how thin it really is. By around 3 billion years ago, Mars entered its late stage, water continued to decline, and the surface turned into a desert. Mars' climate became increasingly hostile. The thin atmosphere couldn't retain heat, leading to surface temperatures as low as minus 63 degrees Celsius. Liquid water could no longer survive on the surface, existing only as underground ice or polar ice caps. So here's the big question. Did Mars ever harbor life? Some scientists believe that Mars' early mid-latitude regions might have contained oases that lasted from thousands to millions of years. These oases could have served as habitats for life, offering key clues in our search. If these Martian oases really existed, and persisted long enough, they may have provided a crucial window for life to emerge and evolve. This would be of great importance to the study of Martian life. Unfortunately, we haven't yet found direct evidence of past life on Mars. However, Italian scientists using radar from the Mars Express spacecraft discovered a liquid water lake 20 kilometers wide beneath the south polar ice cap. Additionally, analysis of seismic data from the InSight lander suggests that a layer of liquid water may exist 10 to the 20 kilometers below the surface. These underground water reservoirs might be critical habitats for Martian life and represent key targets for future exploration. As we all know, Water is essential for life. It is one of the key conditions for life to exist and Mars, a potential second home for humanity, has limited but crucial water resources. These will be vital for future exploration and colonization. For now, we can confirm that subsurface water and polar ice caps on Mars can serve as future water sources for human bases these water sources could provide drinking water, be used to produce fuel and oxygen, and most importantly, support agriculture and industrial activities, making long-term survival on Mars possible to further uncover Mars' history and signs of life. The Perseverance rover has already completed most of its sample collection mission. It aims to return samples from Mars by around the year 2030, when that happens, the rocks and soil collected from Mars could help us accurately understand its past and finally answer the question, did life ever exist on Mars? Let's hope that day comes soon sooner than we think.